Blank Space is a song recorded by American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift for her fifth studio album 1989-2014. It was written by Swift, Max Martin and Shellback. The song was released to the radio by Republic Records on November 10, 2014 as the album's second single, after Shake It Off, and is the second track on the album. It is an electropop song with lyrics that satirize the media's perception of Swift and her relationships. Within three weeks, Blank Space reached number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 following Shake It Off. Swift became the first woman in the Hot 100's 56 year history to succeed herself at the top spot. It has received universal acclaim from critics. It has also been included in numerous year end critics' lists. The song has also topped charts in Canada, South Africa, Australia, and Scotland. It also charted in the top 10 in numerous countries, such as Austria, Czech Republic, Germany, New Zealand, Spain, and the United Kingdom. It is one of the best-selling singles of all time. The song's accompanying music video was directed by Joseph Kahn and was shot over three days at Oheka Castle in Huntington, New York. The song received its first televised performance at the 2014 American Music Awards and as part of Taylor Swift's 1989 secret session with iHeartRadio on October 27, 2014, in New York City. The song received nominations for the 58th Grammy Awards for Record of the Year, Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance. Topic. Background and composition Blank Space is an electropop song that many critics compared to the works of fellow artist Lord. It makes fun of Swift's recent exposure in the media about her dating life, portraying herself as an overly attached man-eater who dates for songwriting material. The song was written by Swift along with Martin and Shellback, and produced by the latter two. Blank Space is composed in the key of F major and set in a four-quarters time signature at a moderate tempo of 96 beats per minute. Swift's vocals range from A3 to D5. Some listeners, including Swift's mother, misheard the lyrics of Blank Space, incorrectly hearing got a long list of ex-lovers, as all the lonely Starbucks lovers, a high-profile example of a Mondegreen. On Valentine's Day 2015, Swift jokingly tweeted about the misheard lyrics and Starbucks responded, saying, wait, it's not. Topic critical reception Blank Space received critical acclaim. Pop Matters called the song to be likely the best of Swift's career and easily a candidate for the best pop song of 2014 and that it captures the essence of 1989 in all its glimmering, solipsistic glory. The New York Times noted the song as a clever metanarrative, commenting that this is Ms. Swift at her peak. It's funny and knowing, and serves to assert both her power and her primness. In a positive review, Robert Leadham of Drowned in Sound recognized it as it's the work of someone who finds success in misadventure, instead of wallowing in it. Los Angeles Times called it a thrillingly vicious riff on Swift's reputation as a man-eater, a topic she also addresses in the album's jumpy lead single, Shake It Off. Got a long list of ex-lovers, they'll tell you I'm insane, she sings, her voice surging with newfound power, but I've got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. The song was included in several critics' year-end lists. Rolling Stone named it the sixth best song of 2014. Time named it as the ninth best song in their year-end list. The Village Voices annual year-end Paz and Jop Critics Poll ranked it as the third best song of 2014.
Topic: Chart performance. The song topped the Hot Digital Songs charts with sales of 155,000 copies in its first week, making it the second song from 1989 to reach number one on the Hot Digital Songs, becoming Swift's ninth number one on that chart. Swift stood at rank three as the artist with the most number one digital songs tying her with Eminem and surpassed Rihanna for the most number one debuts. The song debuted at number 18 on the Billboard Hot 100. In its second week, the song sold 164,000 copies up 5% and moved up to number 13 on the Hot 100 being the airplay gainer. In its third week, the song sold 328,000 digital copies up 100%, spurred by the release of its accompanying music video, and jumped to number one, becoming her third number one single and making Swift the first female artist to replace herself at number one. The number one song of the previous week was, Shake It Off, and tenth overall among all artists. The song remained at number one on the chart for seven consecutive weeks making it Swift's longest reign at number one besting her previous records of We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together and Shake It Off, which peaked atop for three and four weeks respectively. It also helped set a record for the longest period that the number one spot on the Hot 100 had been held only by female musicians. On the chart issue dated January 17, 2015, it was pushed to the runner-up spot as Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk topped the Hot 100. It reached its one millionth sales mark in its fifth week. As of November 2017, Blank Space has sold 4,500,000 copies in the United States. The song stayed in the top 10 for 17 weeks including the song's seven-week reign at the chart's top spot, making it Swift's second longest time lingering in the top 10, bested only by Shake It Off, which spent 24 weeks in the chart's top 10. It ranked at number 7 in the 2015 Billboard year-end chart. In New Zealand, it debuted at number 26. In its third week, the song jumped from number 33 to number 4, becoming Swift's sixth top five hit in New Zealand. In Australia, it debuted at number 29 before reaching number 1 on November 22. In the United Kingdom, Blank Space debuted at number 99 on November 8, 2014, after the release of 1989. After the song was released as the second single from 1989, the song re-entered the chart at number 11, progressing into the top 10 the following week, becoming Swift's seventh top 10 hit in the UK. Ultimately, Blank Space peaked at number 4, and charted in the top 10 for 10 weeks. The song has sold over 650,000 copies in the country. As of November 2015, according to the IFPI, the song sold 11.68 million units combined sales and track equivalent streams worldwide in 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music video The accompanying music video was directed by Joseph Kahn, who said that Swift approached him with the idea for the treatment, saying she was all too aware of the jokes made about all of her ex-boyfriends and how she likes to include them in her songwriting. She told him that she wanted to address the general thought of her in the clip in a fun way by playing a crazy villain. The video was shot over three days in September at two different Long Island locations, 12 hours in day one, 18 hours in day two and 10 hours for filming the American Express unstaged app. Most of the scenes depicting Swift were filmed at O'Haker Castle in Huntington, New York, while some of the interior scenes were shot at the Woolworth Mansion. 
After two days of filming with Swift, a second unit crew assistant directed by Henry Thong kept going, taking much of the photography that would later be used to construct the world within the American Express unstaged, Taylor Swift Experience app. The video was partly inspired by A Clockwork Orange. Khan explained, There's a lot of symmetrical framing that's Kubrickian, which is a really funny way to approach a pop video. But it's there if you look at the way there's center framing and symmetry throughout the whole thing. Swift's love interest in the video is portrayed by model Sean Opry and a second love interest is portrayed by model Andrea Denver. The video accidentally leaked on Yahoo on November 10, 2014. Khan tweeted about the accidental early release. I'll link video later when I think it's clear. I think it may be a mistake on Yahoo's part. They may have released it early by accident. To which he later added, Yup. Yahoo effed up. Wait to see the blank space video. Let Taylor introduce it herself. It'll be worth it smiley face. American Express Unstaged, Taylor Swift Experience is a 360 degrees music video app for blank space that complements the classic style linear music video. The 360 degrees video features a similar storyline to the classic style video, uses the same set, and stars the same Swift and Opry. The user can follow Swift and her love interest throughout many rooms of the mansion, although the user may leave the couple and go to other rooms to find interactive Easter eggs and watch the butlers doing their work. Khan, the video's director, compared it to a stage play and dubbed it a choose your own adventure video. The video was filmed using special 360 degrees cameras and can be viewed by downloading the app to a smartphone or tablet. When in the app, the user physically moves their phone to move their point of view. The app won the Emmy for Original Interactive Program at the 2015 ceremony. As of May 2019, the video is one of 35 videos with over 2 billion views on YouTube. With over 2.4 billion views, it is the 18th most viewed YouTube video of all time and has the fifth most views for a female artist after Swift's Shake It Off, Katy Perry's Raw, and Dark Horse, and Adele's Hello. Swift was the first artist in history to have two videos exceeding 2 billion views. It has over 9.0 million likes on YouTube and is the fifth most liked video by a female artist. On July 3, 2015, it became the fourth and, at that time, the fastest music video to reach 1 billion views on Vivo. On October 20, 2015, it became the most watched music video on Vivo. In July 2015, Blank Space was nominated for two VMAs at the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards, Best Pop Video and Best Female Video. The video won both its nominations during the ceremony on August 30, 2015. Topic <laughs> Remix Following the song's debut at the 2014 American Music Awards a remix was uploaded to SoundCloud on December 15, 2014 by the host of the event Pitbull but has since been removed. Accolades <coughs> 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 Track listing CD single Blank Space 351 Blank Space Mr. Worldwide Remix featuring Pitbull 358 Topic Live Performances 
Swift performed the song on television for the first time at the 2014 American Music Awards. She first performed it live as part of Taylor Swift's 1989 Secret Session with iHeartRadio on October 27, 2014 in New York City, streamed on iHeartRadio and Yahoo. Swift performed the song in The X Factor and the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. She also performed the song live in London, UK at Capital FM's Jingle Bell Ball 2014 along with some of her other songs. The song was part of the set list of the 1989 World Tour, as well as the Reputation Stadium Tour. Topic. Cover versions Ryan Adams' cover version of the song was featured on his Taylor Swift tribute album, 1989-2015. Father John Misty released a cover version of the song in the style of the rock band The Velvet Underground in 2015. The cover is a reinterpretation of Adams' version and is built on the melody of the song. I'm waiting for the man. Imagine Dragons released a slowed down version of the song in 2015 as a Spotify exclusive. I Prevail released a post hardcore cover and has received over 50 million views on YouTube since. In the end of the video, former drummer Lee Runestad, who is married, jokingly attempts to give out his phone number as a message to Swift. The I Prevail cover of Blank Space was certified as a gold record by the RIAA on August 26, 2016, certifying sales of over 500,000 copies. The single reached the number 9 position of Billboard's Hot Rock chart and reached No. 90 on the Billboard Hot 100. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Credits and Personnel. Credits are adapted from album liner notes. Taylor Swift, lead vocals, background vocals, writer, shouts Max Martin, producer, writer, keyboards, programming Shellback, producer, writer, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass, keyboards, percussion, music programming, shouts, stomps Michael Ilbert, recording Sam Holland, recording Corey Bice, recording assistant Serban Genia, mixing John Haynes, mixing engineer Tom Coyne, mastering Topic. Charts Topic. Certifications Since May 2013, RIAA certifications for digital singles include on-demand audio and or video song streams in addition to downloads. Release history Topic. See also List of Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 singles of 2014 List of Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 singles of 2015 List of Canadian Hot 100 No. 1 singles of 2014 List of No. 1 Adult Contemporary Singles of 2015 US. List of number 1 singles of 2014 Australia List of number 1 digital tracks of 2014 Australia List of number 1 singles of 2015 South Africa List of Scottish number 1 singles of 2014 List of most viewed YouTube videos List of most liked YouTube videos